signature from you. That says that. Uh, okay, I am Dr. Camille Gentle Spirit, and I am Associate Professor of Communication and Media Studies at Roger Williams University, and I am currently serving as the chair of the Communication and Graphic Design Department. So, as with many young people, the decision wasn't necessarily yours, and the decision is necessarily yours to migrate. So, at the time, the decision wasn't really mine to migrate. My parents migrated. Uh, they lived here for a few years, and then they, um, uh, in in Jamaican terms, it's they sent for me, meaning that they they started the process of getting me and my sibling here. Being older now, I can assess the the reason why they and other Jamaicans or other people from the Caribbean want to travel into the United States, and largely it's economic reasons. So. The Caribbean, um, part, including Jamaica, struggles economically. Um, contrary to perceptions of the so-called third world, right? They're, they're, they're classified as third world countries. Contrary to that perception, um, it's not all poor. So everybody in the country, everybody in Jamaica is not poor. However, there's a great disparity between those people who are wealthy and have the money and have resources and those people who are not. And so what we can expect, based again, based on his rhetoric, is that it would probably be very um, stringent and more restrictive for people who are who are of color who are coming trying to come into the united states or who are who are already in the united states but again the the i've heard a lot of people and i'm going to echo their statement that what is said on the campaign trail what you say while you're campaigning won't necessarily manifest itself when you are the president